And new today, we are on top of all the new developments with Q13 News live team coverage. I'm Matt Lorch. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. We begin with Q13 News reporter Steve Kiggins, who was in the courtroom this morning. He was a E6 upon discharge. He saw combat in Iraq. Received a Medal of Valor. Tacoma police officer Christopher Burbank was the first of three now criminally charged in the death of Emmanuel Ellis to appear before a Pierce County judge. Burbank is facing second degree murder. He's been with the department since 2015. He's from North Carolina, married with children, and now on the other side of the criminal justice system. There's never been a hint of him ever doing anything wrong. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Officer Timothy Rankin is facing first degree manslaughter for his alleged role. He was the last of the three officers to arrive at the scene. Defense attorneys claim he's never been in trouble before. He served his country and wanted to do the same for the people of Tacoma. His military vehicle was blown up by an IED. Uh, he compressed his spine and uh, lost his hearing. And uh, that's why the chiropractor has gotten to know him so well. Watching the proceedings, Manuel Ellis's family. And it was the story about Rankin's injury from an IED that struck Manuel's sister. When he said that, um... He had got blown up in an IED and something had happened to his spine. And I just couldn't help but think that, well, he's over six feet tall, weighs 200 pounds, and his knee was in my brother's spine and in his neck, and he restricted his breathing for six to nine minutes while he was hogtied. The third officer, Matthew Collins, faces a second-degree murder charge. He served in the Army for seven years, honorably discharged, and joined TPD in 2015. Prosecutors asked for a million dollars bail for each defendant. One asked to be released on his own recognizance, the others for much lower bail. Instead, the judge issued bail at $100,000 for each. While the Ellis family attorney believes more charges could be filed should prosecutors learn new information. They epically misrepresented the information and lied in their police reports and deceived all of us. all of us in such a way that charges almost didn't happen. As the emotions pour out from Manny Ellis's side, the other side we haven't heard from until today. Dozens of people pack this Pierce County courtroom, quietly reacting to three Tacoma police officers in jail jumpsuits instead of in their uniforms. Is your true name Matthew Joseph Collins? Yes, Your Honor. The disbelief at times were palpable as family members, fellow officers, and Tacoma community members watched the three officers appear in court. They patrol our area where our shop is, and uh, they're very um, well liked and do a great job uh, cleaning up our community. Joshua Harris says he plans on coming back to court to show support for officers Matthew Collins, Christopher Burbank, and Timothy Rankin. I'm just one person, but this this is 90% uh, of the community that would like to be here today and support them. It seems to be that uh, the current climate is to crucify our police officers. And uh, that, you know, there is due process. And that due process being questioned by defense attorney Brian Hirschman, who is representing Rankin, charged with manslaughter. You don't investigate a case for a year and a year and a half, 12, 14 months, and issue a bench warrant? Are you kidding me? Uh, how about a phone call? That's what happens to my other clients. Hirschman says the attorney general's office and the system as a whole treating the officers differently from any other defendant, starting from prosecutors today asking for a million dollar bail for a manslaughter charge against Rankin. That's just ridiculous. If he wasn't a police officer and if there weren't TV cameras and if this were not a social issue, that wouldn't happen. Hirschman says conversations comparing Ellis's death to George Floyd is disturbing to him. It repulsed me what I saw in the George Floyd case. I hope it did most citizens. That has nothing to do with this case. My client responded to a high risk environment, a call out for high risk assistance, and very possibly did exactly what he was trained to do. Hirschman says for fairness, he will try to move the trial outside of Pierce County, but he even admits that, that will be a hard fight. It's just kind of been my experience that this system eats their own. It scares me as a defense lawyer. I want a fair trial. In Pierce County, Hannah Kim, Q13 News. And we have just learned that all three officers have bailed out. So, Steve, do we know if they have been fired from the department? 
Yeah, well, you know what? As we know of right now, we just checked with the city of Tacoma right now. They are all still on the clock, still on paid administrative leave. Now, city council and the mayor plan to answer some questions about that administrative process coming up on Tuesday. But as of right now, all three officers are still being paid. And Hannah, after seeing what happened in the arraignment, do you get a sense of what the defense strategy will be, what they might try to play up during the trial? Well, Jamie, if you take a look at Raymond, as you said, I'm going to talk about Rankin for a second because his defense attorney was the most vocal today. They are going to play up their life history before this incident happened with Manny Ellis. The fact that they say Rankin was a decorated military hero, he received two Purple Hearts, that was brought up. The fact that he volunteered a lot in the community, that he was well liked, but again, he is facing now some serious charges. So it's going to come down to a jury whether or not they're going to have that play in their decision. Guys, back to you.